Lady of Lake University is one of three Catholic universities in San Antonio. What sets us apart from the others? Our spiritual guidance. This past academic year, there has been a tremendous change in university ministry and how they uphold the mission of the Congregation of Divine Providence. With new programs and methods, student ministers add a modern twist to integrate spirituality and the Catholic way on campus. This is Gabrielle Bettis reporting for Online Journalism. My name is Jeffrey Huber, and I'm a student minister um, here at University Ministry at the Lake. We, with bringing the faith and the Catholic faith here on campus, um, one of the things we try to do is try to involve as many different types of people as possible, as many students, as many faculty and staff, um, with all our programs, our services, our retreats, everything. Because um, we want to provide that part of the mission where it's talking about that holistic development of the person and stuff like that. And so one of the ways we do that is with the spiritual part. Right now our main retreat is the Awakening Retreat, and that's a spiritual retreat for undergraduate students. How did you find out about Dolo? Uh, one of my friends from freshman year, she went the first semester and she's been wanting me to go with her. And I would always like push it off. I was like, I don't know, maybe, I'll see. And then, so when she asked me the last time, I was like, yes, I'll go. I felt like my faith and my religion went higher than what it was. Like, my heart opened up, not, even, not only my heart, but my mind in my eyes, the way I saw things, the way I thought about things, the way I felt about things, it's, it, like, I feel that I'm closer as a Catholic to God than I used to be, and I think Dilo helped me out, I helped me a lot with that. We try and involve as many people in serving at Mass. Um, we also have um, different prayer services throughout the year, uh, for example, we have Providence Assembly and the Spirit Day Mass. Um, also sometimes, Random, for example, last year when the um, earthquake hit in Japan, we had the prayer service for um, for that, for all the people that were suffering as a result of that. Um, so that sort of standing with other people from around the world or from other parts of the country that are hurting um, in prayer and doing whatever we can. Do you feel like, um, since this is a private university, private Catholic university, do you feel like it upholds the values that it should? Um, you know, there's always room for improvement, but I feel like it's definitely made a lot of progress in this, um, working towards you know, the commitment to service, the commitment to developing the person. Um, you know, one important part of our mission statement that no other university has is that sponsorship by the Sisters of Divine Providence. And we try to involve them as much as possible, whether it's the university officially hosting events with them, or it's just the fact that they teach here, or it's individual students getting involved with them through stuff like Providence Leadership Program, or having prayer partners with them, or different organizations. Thanks to the CDPs, I was given the opportunity to travel to Europe this past summer. Um, we went to Europe for World Youth Day, and we traveled to Spain, Italy, and France. Um, the CDPs were a great help with this trip because they did a lot of fundraisers to help the students and even on the trip like they were so supportive with everything. Um, if somebody needed help with stuff they would more than likely help them and um, it was just a blessing to have them with us and to, uh, to experience World Youth Day with them. We got to know them like on a personal level as well when traveling with them. We, would, we went on bus rides for like eight hours and we were on the plane for almost a whole day so yeah we really got to bond with them. How, for people who are busy, for people who just want spiritual awareness but um, we can't always go to retreats that last a long time, what do, you, what do you have to offer them as well? We have daily mass and prayer time. Also, if you feel like you need something to be prayed for, you can send an online prayer with us. We also host a busy person's retreat, which is where for a week, every day for an hour, they stop by the convent and they talk to someone spiritually, and it's a really good experience. Is there anything else that you feel like that y'all have brought as university ministers to the university to make this house, this place more approachable? Um, we do offer food, and so, you know, the kitchen's always open for students if they don't have enough money on their meal card or anything like that. They can just come in and make themselves like a food on a sandwich, and there's cans of soup. Um, we're very homey. You know, anybody can come and talk to us about anything. That's what our job is as a student minister. If they are struggling with school, if they're having, you know, problems with their parents, their friends, that's what we're here for. And, you know, that
counseling services is very busy, so we are a second home to those students out on campus. University Ministry is located in the Elliott House on campus next to the UWAC and has become a place of comfort, security, and spiritual guidance. For your daily dose of community, stop by and check out all the new programs University Ministry has to offer. For online journalism, this is Gabrielle Bettis.